Granny used to tell me all the time, sparks and feet and preparation combined. The road been right here all this time, but you gotta look with more than your eyes. And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I Just Star Mindset, rich forever. Mindset, blessed love, manners, and respect. I want to greet the item in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Il Selassie I, the first, Empress Menin the first, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. One more day above ground, beautiful viewers and subscribers. As you know, life is our ultimate position, Zane, and nothing no greater than that, in no matter what I go on. All right. So today we have um, we have a special guest on the platform here. Um, it's gonna be a very powerful show today, you know. All right. So I would advise the item for please hit that like button straight away as the item forward in, and please subscribe if you haven't done so. Zin. So we have a we have a veteran artist where probably. Enough of the item might be aware and know of this virgin, Zane, and enough of the item probably is not aware of the Virginia. And the Virginia have a serious story for share with the item. So, without no further delay, I want to introduce Owen Nibs to the Mindset Program. Blessed love, Honorable. Blessed love, my brother. Respect and manners, you know. Yeah man, warm welcome. It's great to have the hype on the platform, my lad. Give thanks, give thanks. Yes, yes, Owen. Yeah man, manners and respect, you know. Um, yes, sir. The, 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 the I have a very unique story, saying that, you know, the I want to impart with the masses, Zane. All right. First thing more ask the I still. Which part in a Jamaica the I hail from? Well I hail from Montego Bay, you know. It's a era called Mount Salem where I born and I lived there till around eleven going on twelve. And then my old lady relocated to another area. Um Saw Springs. So those who are familiar with Moby and St. James. Yeah, South Spring is where I grow, you know. See. As a young youth and become a man, you know. And 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 what was what was it like growing up in a in a in a St. James, you know, for the eye? Yeah, well, growing up cause growing up now we are top about seventies, eighties. Was a lot of fun, you know. Yeah, man, we play enough football, man. Morning, noon, and night. Look a bit of cricket, you know? See it. And marble and ride with skate around with wheel. And yeah, man, go look, go in the bush, go look mango and fruits. And um, go to the beach, got the beach, you know, Moby is a beach here, you know? So, yeah, man. Where we live, can walk the beach. So, it was very active, enough sound system. Reggae music in the atmosphere, loud radio play, and it was a lot of fun, my brother. Good, good memories, you know? A lot of fun. Yes, sir. <laughs> One word just, just can express the whole thing. Fun and enough love amongst we as friends. Whole heap of friends, you know? Yes, sir. It was all fun. Yeah. So, so which, how oh, 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 the school thing go for the eye? Oh. How that did go? Um, did I leave school with subject or did I um, finish school? Yeah, we finished um, secondary because we got through the, the infant school to the 
the all age. And then I went to uh, Mobile Secondary at the time, because now they renamed it to St. James High School, you know? See it. And, um, so, yeah, so at the time it was popular you know, in a senior school. Yeah, we don't really leave, honestly, because we have time, we don't really leave with no subject, but we leave with um, a pre skill. I was in um, electrical, you know? All right. Yeah, even though we didn't continue on, but yeah, we leave and get more knowledge after we leave school, you know? But yeah, we do a thing, you know? So why, why, why you never continue the electrical? Uh, that is a powerful skill for you have still. Well, you see, it comes to the music where the music kind of take over the thing after that. Within that, I not even so much of music, to, to be honest with you. When I was in the um, electrical installation, cause that run from 10th grade to 11. Yeah. You, you did need a certain, some tools. And my old lady was alone and she couldn't buy me the tool um, to really learn it and certain books where the school no provide, you know? Mm-hmm. So, for yourself, I was in a class on a few that have books and the proper, you know, tool to advance. So we were more like, you know, we lose interest in it. I went teacher teachers, say, all right, who we'll bring them whatever tool they needed at the time. We didn't have any, so. Honestly, sometimes the teacher would tell us, hey, I can't leave the class, guys. like, it's a distraction, you know what I mean? We waste our time. Yeah, in how it is set up. Cause you don't really have the tools, so no you no can't sense. really be a part of it. So yeah, we lose interest, man. I go like it. See, see, see. I think I, I personally think that was a wrong move still by the teacher. You know, because regardless, if the eye never have the necessary skill or the necessary tools, still, tool, yeah. See, the eyes could have still that they are observe. Zane, what 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 go on with who have the tool to do what them have to do? You see me I say? So that we yeah, that we the could. eye still could have and gather knowledge, said we. Yeah. But me now I'm gonna lie, you know, I have to keep it real. I I think sending us out of the class, it probably stem from whoever have no tool, you know, them start talk loud. Cause we have to keep it real, you know? Mm-hmm. Probably a misbehavior teacher me to say, hey, you know, stop your eyes over there, so. So I think, say, yo, all right, it was better to you know, exit the class, so. Who interest, who interested, can So we have to put the blame where it is. So we don't say it's more on us than even the teacher. You see what I mean, sir? See it, see it, see it, see it. Yeah, because we have to keep it real, you know? Yeah, yeah, you have to keep it real still, but, um, you know, I grew up in a Jamaica too, and I, I, you know, I can share experience, you know, similar experience, you know what I mean, in terms of um, yeah. the trade thing still, you know, a Jamaica. But I feel like um, them, 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 them should have make more provision still, or, or, or even make things a little better um, for, for access-wise, you know, certain, certain things should have been provided um, by the government. You know what I mean? For you know, the school. It's a different story, you know. We know that guy, you know. Yeah. yeah. For real. For real. For real. All right, my king. So, um, the I always live in in Saint James. Are they so they are they always dress up? Yeah, we live on. You know what? We start venture out. I'm start venturing to Kingston at sixteen. 16 was my first time going to Kingston and it was a musical move. So with that say, up to 16, going out, graduate and moving and we start venturing to Kingston to fulfill the dream, you know? Yeah. See. So yeah, between them two places there, you know? So the, the, well, all right, guy I say fulfill the dream. The I what? The I did start DJ. The I did start the music from, from in a, from in a, Mobile, or when I reach a kid, yeah, so. man. The music starts from about seven, eight year old, man. Young, young, man. Because, um, we grew in a musical atmosphere, you know. See, and at home, my mother was a musical lady. Because, um, I'm a the picture, it was like nine brothers and three sisters, you know. And as you know, them time, the uh, 70s. 
people don't really have no television. So my whole lady you now have a sound system that um what is that called a component set in her room with a stash of seven inch and my whole lady would always host party in the yard. So I can remember sound system are coming at the yard and steel and on the veranda and two bumps, one turn table and no 45s and man a out on the mic, you know. And then even at a 7 year old, they would call me and said, because they used to call me chicken back because my man was really skinny, you know, see it? See it. <laughs> so they would say, come in, you would come touch the mic. And I don't, I don't care, I remember what I said, but I know I get a forward and then send me on my bed, you know, see it? So, a random time there. And then now, I used to select for my old lady. You know, when your mother come from work and want to hear some music. But if she sit down and play the music, you know, you have to take off the record, put it on. So, she created this thing now where when I forget beaten, my punishment was to play music for her. So, when she come from work, now we always I get beaten because one of the biggest rules, you know, if you leave the yard. But as I look at you, you have your wheel, you have to go out. I road go around the wheel and when she hears say, you're outside of place. Say, all right, come play music. So I would have to play the music and I cry. Because it's punishment. I want to go outside and play with my friends. Then. But there was a song that came out, 74, if I'm correct, a thing of Stuart. It's a thingy, he, he win festival with it. Play the music, play the music. You know? Mm-hmm. So I studied, it was the only song I really like at the time. So I studied it. And as a youth, I'm a perform it as a little talent show and get some crayon books and pencil and thing and uh, that's how it starts, you know? Yeah. See. Rastafari. All right. So what what do I do now? Do I do I move go to Kingston for a for pursue the thing you know? Yeah, not really move, you know. Because story I will lead up to that now. Because what really happened is after that, after that you grow a ter- teenager, start perform um, school concert, start big man, start bring me a dance, go perform and things. So one of my brains in a class now is elder brother keep a dance with a son from Moby and him, Ghetto International, and it was early B, brought back Mama Nancy. And me and my other brethren, Billy Dread, on the dance. So the dance keeping an hand over Sandy Bay. So we go there as a school youth and do a thing. So you know, the man in early B said to me, you know, say, youth, you bother me if you come a town with me. So that was the first opportunity to go to town, you know? So, so early B bring I a go town? You know, the sun, eh? Early B bring the eye to town? No, he never bring me because me didn't ready, but Show them man, they are principal man, you know. Him say me for ask my mother. Okay. So when I go on the Sunday man, I'm supposed to have another dance in a mobi, you know, because that dance keeping a Sunday be and over. So those who know Moby at the time you now, there was a land named Laranda. So I go perform the, um, the Sunday night. So me supposed to meet him if my mother say yes. But the problem now, when me are going to the man and my mother just I go to church. So it was the wrong mean if I said, Mama, DJ, I'm going to go to town with, with me. And she said, No. But I keep it honest and I'm going under the night and tell him, say, the whole lady said, No. So I say, But I did still want to go because I still pack a little bag and thing. But he must say, No, man, when you're old school, I will come back for you, you know? And yeah, we all know what happened. I really be passed out, you know? See. So the cassette now with me and him, I did have it. One of my bridges you now, from Moby, where we grew up with it, in the graduate school two years before. So he went to Kingston, go live now, because I have no family at all. So he made the cassette, copy it and bring it to Kingston. And then he write me a letter, because I'm telling you, you know, a phone, you know. So he write me a letter like him, and I said, all right. The letter said, meet me, meet me at Crossroad next month, the date and the time. And we never, we never got on yet. 16 year old, you know. So I'm going to tell my mother, I'm going to save up some money. I'm on the same bridge, you know, we sing together, Billy Dread. I just take the bus, tell the doctor, I said, leave her across the road. 
And then, so we end up at Kingston now at 16 years old. So that was the first time reaching at Kingston, you know? So you you did actually meet meet Early B? No, it wasn't Early B. No, it was Leon. No, I lose contact with Early B. And then uh, Leon now, within a few months after, sent to me now my region, different from Early B. So when when we meet him now, then we end up him bring me down to one place you now where me live. Me am Avana in a Arnett garden. Mm. So down the sun we meet. Um he come out, squiddly ranks, and a couple more artists from them time, you know. But him bring me to a bridge named Joe Dog. So Joe Dog was supposed to you know take me to, you know, the producer of them. Joe Dog they like how my sound. And he put on a dance with a son named At Sizzler and Barrington Levy and a couple of them, you know. So as a little youth, I have the pleasure and the experience of Barrington Levy. After I'm sing, he say, Why I say youth? So I sing and I say, Yeah, man, your sound good. So you can know me feel as a little youth, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, man. A so big I artist, I say you're good. In a yeah, man, he say, Yeah, man. A Joe, a Joe Dog bridge, you know. Joe Dog, like you say, a Joe Dog, my manager, then, you know. Mm. And him come check Joe Dog after that, and I tell Joe Dog, so buy me a guitar, man, make him teach me some things. But that went kind of shortly, man. I went back to Moby, then. It was a summer holiday, you know. Okay, see it. Yeah. And yeah, man, so that's the first time we were kings at that time, you know. So at that time, you, you did finish school them time there? No, no. I did in a 10th grade. Okay. So, went back to school. I never want to come back to school still, but due circumstances, cause when Leon sent for me to come to town, no, he never really have a situation where I'm somewhere for we stay officially. Yeah. So, we are asleep here and sometimes we find ourselves asleep on veranda, you know? Asta. So even though we did plan for rough it out, cause we like the vibes and we did really serious. You know, it, it was it had reached a point where it had get unbearable, you know. So we say alright. Then Leon did just uh, sort out himself. So I say alright. When he sort out himself better, then I can come back. So went back to school still and graduate at 82, 83. So we graduated 84. Yeah. And then after graduate now, went back to Kingston, I moved from down a jungle and live up at Agley Park Road. So he situated himself now. So he was the one who who produced my first single, Juggler. See it. Yeah, yeah. So at the time now I'm save up some money and him buy a 16 track and a two track. And him link a bridge in him, Jimbo now. And then Billy read him for the for the song. And we went to um Aquarius Studio and recorded it, you know, by halfway through. Yeah. So uh the 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 the, the, the first the first song that you record are the song where yeah. you just mentioned named Juggler. Yeah, Juggler, yeah. First yeah. ever song. Never record before. First time we're going to a studio. <laughs> Aquarius, yeah. Yeah. Z- yeah, so them time you know about 18 18 i got to 19 yeah the major yeah Eight, 1987 yeah yeah or 19 i got to 20 something like that around that age all right so you 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 um you, re- you record the song and thing what 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 happened after that what 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 you, you start record more songs or, or what what go on no this a weird day the uniqueness coming out of the, the real part of the, the thing now is that, all right, so record the song. Remember, we're young, you know. Mm-hmm. Leon is only a year older than me or two, so Leon is probably 21. So we're all inexperienced to the business. So Leon, ready time company, Virgo Production. So voice the song, impress the record. I don't remember how much copies in press. So he brought it to a distribution. I don't remember who is the distributor. But he bring it to the distribution now. 
to distribute the song to the record shop, see? see so, it. it'll go on now, but after a while, no, I, I hear the song from Adria because Free I played, Free I played, Free I, he passed away with Peter Touch. I mean, on the house when Peter Touch gets shut up. Mm. So, him played the Tuesday and the Thursday, and, and then him dead the Friday. Mm-mm. So now, when we start go for the and the distribution, we notice them are tell him like the stamp had it broke to come back. When him go back the bus, not there to tell after one at a time some big man they had the gate not even want to let you in the building. You see it? See it? So yeah, so Leon now did a produce another song in Bill Rhythm. Can rise him with another tune when him. In Bill, I read him for about AIDS, so me write a tune for that. I read him there. So we just start a different um, production. But at the same time, Drew, everything happened so quick, you know. At the same time, I hear nothing about the record when I give this man. Leon did get a visa now at the time. But him fly out, because I mean, at the same time, him kind of low, him kind of feel like a downhearted. Because Leon was really a music man. We love music, you know, like say go dance and part. Leon was a do it as a business. Cause Leon Virgo was a business minded youth, you know. So when him fly out now, we never really have, have, have to give up the place at Agri Park Road. So we go back down a jungle now, but at the same situation. So I kind of we go back and up you know. So that's why I only one song we record. From 1987. One then, song. One song. So I think the song now, but me never stop singing when I go more you know? bit. Do some little dance. Me and a bridge name, Jabron, from my area. The man I used to go on North Hills dance, like in you know, Westmoreland and, you know, them place there, Bethel Town, Cambridge, we open at the hills of St. James. I was still go on with a little thing, but. We never had a record again, still, you know? Yes, so, the record done. I never know said the song. So, I forget about the song and everything, you know? So, um, my great came to America in 1994, you know? And the New York, and, you know, we went up a DJ contest, I won big club at the time, named Actree, 1995. So, I be, you know, number one DJ in the ranks. And thing and thing. And then I build a little sound. Nothing big, just I go and play around the Bronx and thing, you know. So, it wasn't until 2015 when I man open up a Facebook page. Because I try to do the music and I connect, you know what I'm saying? See. So, when I did the Facebook now, no time after that, Bridget, I see a message coming on the messenger like because of my government name the dip on the record you know, which I mistake Leon make even if it, my name was supposed to be Desmond Wanda and in the bracket on the record written by Owen Nibs, but him do the opposite so the man asked me you know, if this is Owen Nibs who sing the juggler so I say yeah but the song wasn't released him say you mean the song never released and so the song released in Europe. See? And we've been looking for you from them time till now. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> so 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 sending me a number. I can call me. I'm sending me a number. So I'm call me. So I introduced himself. He said, this is Joe from France. And it's a pleasure to talk to Mr. Nis because that song is a hit song. I'm listening to him and I say, hey, and I get excited, oh, I can't believe I got a song named Juggler and also over Europe. Them call me Juggler. So I say, I can't believe I'm talking to Juggler. But the way I go on, no, I just hang up the phone, because I check say, some prank or something. Some wind up thing, the man are winding up. <laughs> yeah, or, or some gimmicks thing. I think I want my version of gimmicks. Man. So I just hang up the phone and say, okay, what is this? Because I never hear about the song. <laughs> call back, no, and I say, no, how many nibs? The song was released. It's a hit. People are buying the original copy for 250 euros. Not even know them still a play record. Wow. Anywhere in the world. 
Because you know our thing on the other side of the world, a laptop and CD. So, I still like, give him a hard time. So, I said, I for Google my name. He said, I never Google my name. So, I said, no. So, I said, Google your name and I call you back in a five minutes. Because you think a joke. And when I Google my name, now I see the record on YouTube. And I said, what? Then I say, all the page me I flip and I see people are comment like, just bought Owen Nibs record for 250 euro. I am from Moscow. And you just see the page of my flip, people are make comment, where is Owen Nibs? Who is Owen Nibs? People are saying my person, people are saying they are prison. Because they don't know. So they make up story, you know, see it. So when I'm calm about now, I'm see if I see it, I say, yeah. So I say, yeah, all right. Brother, I couldn't believe. So, yes, what I want to do now is repress the record and re release it. Which, all of them things there, I never know them things there. So, you can press record for a record. See? So, I explain everything to me. I say, all right. So, I send me some money now. Send me a contract. I say, it'll take a while. And I say, now that. People know me online, people are going to link me for the same thing, but he want to seal the deal, so it's like a man who call me and give me a better deal. You know, see it? See it. So after a few months, he link my bank, say, get the record, you know, see it? I say, all right. So he said to me, he said, I'm going to mail me some copies. I want me to help him promote the record, you know, because the record is so respected that if me no endorse the thing, People have got things say a bootleg. Cause you can any man can take a record and press it and sell it. But you have to put a white label upon it and write it upon it. But him want to use but the same Virgo production label, you see it. So all of that go through. But when him say me want me help him promote it, like do a video, I tell him say I don't want to do it, because I don't want to come online at all about no singing and cause not like me I sing again. Remember, I don't sing for 32 years, you know. Cause I play me, I play my little sound, see? So, I say, all right, I'm going to do it because I'm going to cry and give me money and people are going to buy the record. I'm going to do it. And when I post up the video now, people start link me now, so they want to do people as far as Japan, Moscow. But they even talk about the regular place, them. China, Denmark, all over the world, people want to do play it. People are, are link me, say, welcome back, Mr. Nibs, we had the record. I show my video with them I play the record for the third table. So I said, I couldn't believe my brethren. Mm-mm. Couldn't believe it come like me now one, one more dream. And this this are how much year after your, 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 your um the song that it released? 32 years, 87 to 2015. Wow. 32 years. Mm-mm. I don't hear the song. I don't remember, remember the song, of course I'm a record, but you know, in a man, if, if you meet me. 20 years within, you're not gonna know about the song. Cause even my empress at the time, when I tell her about it, she couldn't believe. She think I lie, I'm sure. Cause me and she together for what, 17 years. So a lot of bridge me know beyond them time. Eh? No know about me and come, me not go talk about it. Cause it's like you know, exists. You see? So after that, no one. So boy, I mean, I forgot to tune up the piece of ice, you know, you know, see it? <laughs> so, <laughs> Link a Bridgen, me and um, Diamond Mine at the time, Diamond Mine, I was steward, and he used to do my mix CD covers, them, and me used to bring all the artists when I'm still got a record or plate, you know? So, when me I tell him, and him look it up, him can't believe, because I say, oh, yeah, singer, and I tell me, you come a studio with the artists, and... I mean, I say, you know, a baby day is them I say. So we have to tune up the voice. So between him and a bridge in him, attorney, which him named Kwaku you now, the man that helped me and tune up the voice, I'm going to do some voice lesson and, and tune it up. And then about a month after they bring me to Europe for two months, 2016. See but they all over Europe I sing the ones. One song, you know, Bridget. One song. One song. When I tell the man, I said, come to Europe. I said, come do what? 
man say, you mean come down, no, you name Juggler. But I said, I don't know song. One song, the man said, Bridgine, you have people who have album. And people don't want to see the man say, right, if you come to Europe, man, the place. No good. And I said, all right, him buy me the ticket. I'm going to go over there and the first day, I'm going to go on a dub plate. I'm going to pay a dub plate. I'm going to go um, Milan, France. And I'm going to go to German. I'm going to go um, Portugal. I'm going to Spain, Netherlands, all over the place, brother. I can't believe. <laughs> One song. One song. People can't look it up. Owen Nibs, Juggler. No, you, big big tune. You 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 know how much artists today are coming at the music. Zayn and them have whole pa songs, and them can go up on a plane, a virgin from US or Europe can send for them and put them on a plane and hear a virgin where have a song for over thirty two years where him not even remember about too much. I don't remember yo, uh, the man of a right, the lyrics and come give me. The man who call me for, for repress the song and him type out the song and send him come give me. And I go, I go back the following year, so all right, 2016, 17, and 18. I go to Europe annually. I just the pandemic when I never go. See. During the pandemic. Yeah. And then now. Through that now, I see the vibes and I feel like, you know, it's a calling now because music and all and something where you just jump up in and, you know, it's, it's a serious thing. If you, have, if, you know, you have the mindset of music, it's a serious thing. So, yeah, even though the man in Europe I show me, I said, boy, I said, I have to record some song now, you know, so I say, there was a song of, because I'm not write a song or nothing. I no, said, no, man, it ain't a young man. If you, cause I went me in a 10th grade, I write drug line. No. See I'm a bridge with them. Yeah, I'm always sit down and I want to suck a match. Um, a Jared Park, a Moby, and I write the song, right? So write upon a paper. And many more songs, but I just I wanted the record first. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But from them time, you know, I never touched the paper or even. So I got to write a song, but. After that now, come home and, you know, start meds different now. And then start write some song now. We've been bridging them. So I record with a, I'm a, with a record first with a, I'm a bridging them. Um, Diamond Mine. So w- w- hold on there. Before the day I go any further, Zane, you left, on, you left from America and go to Europe, right? Yeah. What the I did I do between that time? You know, I, I try to get personal still, but I just I try to overstand um, the I journey still. What, what the I the I did I have a, a nine to five I do because that I know that would have changed the I life now altogether. You go to Europe two months. <coughs> Yeah, 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 do dub plates. Oh, oh, what go go on now? Because me know say your life changed from this or now, you know? Yeah, man, my life changed, man, because at the time, no, yeah, me have a nine to five years, because you don't know, that's why me is a juggler, you know, a song named Juggler. And because me is a man, I juggle many different things, so even when I man was in the Bronx, I man, I juggle my, my work. And then I juggle CD, because my mom tell me I'm a son, I mix CD. Yeah. So when I come from her, I'm going to throw my knapsack from my back. I'm going to ride up White Plains Road, Boston Road, all on the main, main avenue. And I sell my mix CD. Then, then I keep part to see me. Because I love the music still. You know? I don't necessarily have to be a singer or a DJ. You know? I love the music where I start key keep part anywhere I see a little spot. Keep, me bring my sound in and juggle some music, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then, as I said, we have a nine to five, same way. Uh, we have to eat food, we have youth, and we have to take care of youth. So, when I go to Europe now and come forward, at the time I man, married and thing, and you know, I live a nice, quiet life, but that turned everything upside down because after a while, the Empress called me down and said, Oh, we need to talk, you know. 
Because when you come from Europe, it's a different man there, so no, you know. So we are saying. See. Let me say what you mean. Just say, so you know, when you come from Europe, you're not taking a look for me, you're coming out the bed with headphones on your head, and you come from studio, and the only thing you do is start out the youth, and you're gone. I'm say, really? So we have a respectable conversation, and it's a choice. Basically, it's a choice. Music or me, and I don't go to hype up myself and tell us I'm going to choose music, but I don't wait to lead, you know? Mm. Yeah, that way to lead us. So we separate because I feel like I have to continue that journey when we did start and left off. You know what I mean? See it. So, yeah, so as I said now, as you said, that was a journey. Nine to five with music. So, you know, I'm not murmur kind of know you try juggling music with the, with the hustling, same way, you know? Mm. So, Record some songs now and start release them between 2016, 17 come up, release a, a digital album 2019 name, Keep the Faith, you know? Yeah, so that one there on all digital platform, about 14 songs upon it. So all together, I have about 51 songs out there right now. See, powers. Yeah, man. Powers. 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 So, the, 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 the I release an album. Yeah, and then I just released that, no, the, the album before, which is online, digitally, it was 2019. So, this year, um, April, I release an LP, which is a final record. Mm. Yeah. For the, for the market that we're knowing in, because I'm more knowing in the final market, Europe, South America, you know, them far places there, Moscow and them places. Anyway, the turntable there, we're supposed to do there, you know? So, hear me, hear me ask you now. You find that when you, you, your life changed now through the music, how oh, 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 people who you, you 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 did used to deal with and you know how oh, oh, oh them start to view the eye them 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 receptive to the eye same we are you know because we know when changes come a whole of changes happen you know yeah man well i guess i'm one of the lucky ones because it start from family you now like my sister and brother them call i say i'm the youngest one and i'm going to one of the pass also well, my sister they would call me up and say, Yes, Owen, and them start remind me from your baby to know. So they are proud as I continue the journey. Bridging start calling me now from all over and I say, Boy, I'm glad to see you back in the business, brother. Car. Where we are, you are you a free superstar, you know? And then people who know me as, you know, like more recent bridging, most of them even surprised then. And I say, Brother, I know you a long time, and I mean, know, say, you could deal with the thing, so you see, mm. because especially the tune them, the quality of the music and the lyrics them when we are, when we are released uh, between me and the bridge, and then now settle down and start record some, some, some real serious tune, you know. So the people around me, they are them supportive man, and I must say, go on juggler, and then me have a team of Europe again, me have one, how much. Fans of Europe and where I say go on juggler, cause juggler them call me, you know, them call me the original juggler. See, South America people are heal me, I show me the record and say welcome back juggler. I bought your new LP all the way as far as Peru, wow. Israel, all over the place, Czech Republic. So, when that does tell us that the world has for go on, you know. Motivation. Yeah, man. Highly motivated, man. That's the far right. So, what to the virgin the, the the who did record you? What happened to that virgin? Him, 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 him back in the mix? Or, you know, cause him, him, him no, must have some... No, I link him now. Yeah. When I link him in 2015, and I tell him, because I'm mean, still link, you know. Even no one, him there. I'm, I'm there in America, you know, too. Um, Pennsylvania. So I link him and I tell him, 
him never really interested because now he become a preacher, I'm not a church thing, you know? Okay, see. So I'm even sure I'm going to get a food, you know, man, give a piece of the food. And I said, no, man, no, you deserve that, man. We're good. And I said, well, I can use the label. And I said, yeah, man. And I said, I've registered the song. You want it, man? I said, no, Owen, man. No juggler. Go on. I pray for you every day. Because I know you're from where you youth. And I have any memory of anyone when I grow with from infant school. Every... Once you call my name, a three thing them I go say. Music, football and cooking. See. But them thing that me love, them three thing. Rastafari. Yes I. So they I they I they I have out a um a LP you know out there seen on a yeah. digital platform after after how much years outside of the music. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, how oh is that um, being uh, re- received? I'll receive, man. I'll receive by reaction, sales, and streaming, and everything. You know? Pause. And, you know, the dub play thing still are going. And everything is, is just growing, you know what I mean? And then the LP, you know, is like, at the ice didn't pan the cake because Joe may record the digital them and release them. People of Europe would say, Boy, when are we gonna get something to put on the turntable? Because at the same time, it was only the juggler. My hard boy can go up on a turntable. Mm. So till uh, the man had uh, show me now, you know, can them come on the page and uh, show me where they have to take my digital music and go press them on the plate in order for them can play it. On them turntables, so uh, the team decides to so boy, we have to produce an album. So I and I and my bridging them produce them. When I say bridging, I mean a man attorney and a man diamond man. We get together and we get the, the rhythm them from Europe, some live rhythm, proper arrangement, proper hands, and the whole thing, big, big, big rhythm. And then I write the tune them and then I'm arranging them. And dance it and creatively. So the album take about um, that's about five years. This album, the digital one. No, the LP take about five years for done. Cause we never hurry it. And you know, we have to put a little food together and get the song then mixed properly. Yeah man. Harmonize properly. Master properly. So it costs a food, you know, but we take our time, you know? See. Until yes, sir. We get it pressed. So I was in Europe um, in the summer, um, July, over the fair month, and just I run through the, 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 the country and the city, them and put them in the, um, in the record shops and few little shows. Yeah, man, well received, man. I never go in a record shop and a man I take 10 or 5. Because me sell them myself. You know. See, in pause. Yeah, yeah man. man, I'm a bridge in Eric Black. Big up Eric Black catalog. Yeah, man, I'm a from 2015. I'm a man who believes in my thing, you know? So, when I'm going on the road now, we leave Paris with, a, with them care, full of record. And he know the record shot them, because we must sell record on the road for over 20 something years, you know? See. So, he will stop and say, Juggler, take 10 records and go into the record shop. So, just going to the record shop and hey, you guys speak English? I'm saying, yeah, man. I'm saying, I'm Owen, it's from Jamaica. And I have my new LP. And I'm look on it. I have the test press. Then play it. Then say, yeah, man, give us 10. You have any more? I forgot about the care for 10 more because I strictly roots and culture, you know? Mm-hmm. And this LP now is a foundation format where you have, um, I think they used to call it showcase in the days where. You have the vocal and then you have the instrumental, the version. Yeah. And you have track four, vocal, track five, instrumental. So it's like some Jatamas production where you have the instrumental. And so Europe now, them love instrumental, you know? Them love rhythm section. So we give it to them and it'll go on good, man. Big, big, big thing I go on with it, man. Powers. All right. Um, 
the 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 music today zen because we know music influence zen um what what what, what you think about the music today um looking looking from where the eyes coming from zen what what you think about the music today i may talk about right across the board now from reggae to to dance art. well for me personally as it is i was a teenager and from where i go school i come from school i talk about ninth grade eighth grade ten grade week i was a group of us like four of us and at the time the music that really really inspired us was that's the liquor john them all of the man them we had a pre a, a music punisher the sammy dread barrington levy the linval thompson juna delgado dennis brown sugar minot the, the, the list goes on barry brown you know them type of man there so uh, the yeah, music man. that we grew and love the first 45 me buy uh, with my lunch money when i don't eat lunch for a week i'm gonna buy a sugar minot I never have turned table, I'm going to bring it in my bag every day I go to school and take it out and look on it. The roots, the rhythm section, the, um, the lyrics was encouraging. Um, you know, a man to sing the positive lyrics. If you're in a, a little depression, the, the music that can uplift you and motivate you. In other words, the music that used to make you feel happy. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because the music was coming from a, a real place. And the, the, you know, apart from the lyrics, the musicianship, we could have feel the music, the cards. that We never even know about cards and keys and anything. But you feel something special in the music. You know? So, transferring to now, I don't know if the young generation have feel a different thing. But for me as an elder now, if me, I'm going to a record shop to buy some record, you know. Because a record shop we used to go in and they say, yo, give me that one, the bridge, and you're going there with a little bit of money and you want to come out with the best. You know what I mean? So the music of really I hit your heart. When I tell them you to say, you know, we want some some positive lyrics, some motivative lyrics. You know what I mean? Some lyrics where can can motivate a mother we have them kids them and a look on them and them hungry music we can encourage the person instead of make them feel violent you know what i mean so we want a balance you know the thing you know is a balance because um the music when we overseas i'm gonna see the type of music where young people even are listening i'm going to record shops I'm going to say, teenager come in and buy a record. And you see them take up an um, a Israel Vibration album. When you look, you see them walk out with a Wayne Smith album. I mean, I say, yeah. So I ask, come here to do my own survey. You know? I ask some of the youth, them say, you know, why this type of music? And I want to say, boy, this is the real music. This is the music with a message. Now, when I ask them, say, what about the new music coming out of Jamaica? Because they are a big consumer, you know. Mm-hmm. Them say, boy, them can't deal with the auto-tune. See. And they, they will tell you, say, the music is not reggae. So, they, on a wider scale, not feeling it, you know. So, I think something needs to, you have to go back to playing the music. The musician, them. Not fighting against the youth, them, because they have an opportunity. And they go use it. Cause if I was 19 now, and my bridge never like a student with a computer, I go use it because yes, sir. That's, that's there to use. Mm. But a youth will tell us, say, well, when we do the culture or any other type of music, we don't get forward. And it probably take longer for me to get popular or reach stardom. So obviously them are going to do, I call it action music because I don't want to say violent music, you know, even though it probably is. But, you know, them are called violent 
action movie, violent movie, them call it action movie, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's entertainment the same way. Mm-hmm. True. But um, I think one of the youth them know say, you see the reggae, it was created with a mission too, apart from you can sing and dance and feel happy, and you can sing and dance and drink and party. You know, the, the elder them created for express certain things. If you remember the apartheid with President Bota, a reggae helped change all that. Reggae was a big part of the fight, you know. Mm-hmm. Reggae, you know. When the man used to sing some song. You understand? So that's how powerful reggae is. So if them can balance it, one of my two favorite tunes out of the modern era, you know, is a tune where say in a real life, I don't remember the artist's name, but it say in a real life, in a real life, bad okay. tune. Cause even though it depends on a trap beat, listen why I'm a sing say. Yeah, the Virgin name version. And it still, still become a hit song. Mm. I you one of the tune them say you want a house on the hill. Thing a Jamil, big big tune, big tune. So you know what I tell young you them say. Yeah, man, give us some positive lyrics, man. I'll probably balance it. Because I got hard to tell them, said, don't DJ certain things. Can't mm-hmm. tell them, but them not going to stop. So we can't ask for a balance. True. Yeah, we can't ask for the same man with DJ. Same man go chop out a man at back and rare, rare. Him, 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 him know, him can write song. Him know positiveness. You him think- know all the struggle is. You think those type of lyrics influence um, the, 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 the wider, the wider um, community, though? If I remember, no, I do, I'm not saying if. I remember, say, me personally, I'm going to talk about me, or my little forebridge in them. When we, when we have a school, because music got touch me from school. And we were inspired, so we want to stop wearing hush puppy, we want to wear clocks. See? And we want to stop wearing white socks, we want to wear diamond socks. And the artists them first were seen at them things there, you know. See? And when we are youth and say, we are moved to smoking herb now. And the artists them first were sit on the album there with the big spliff on the chalice them, you know, the Barry Brown. And them man with them big spliff in their mouth. The way them pose, the way them walk, the way them carry themselves, one of them arrow shirt they took. So See. the little shirt them our mother buy we and them little pants they don't have the little store them. We want to bring with lens to a tailor now. So yes, music does influence. You know, it shouldn't. It shouldn't, but it does. It's just a reality. So it can influence your positive and it can influence your negative. You understand? Because it did in- influence me to start talk, certainly. I and I. When I talk so in front of my mother, she, she flings up my boy and I talk, then we in front of me. But I saw me the artist and I talk. I and I. Rastafari. You know? Man wrote them big spliff. Man make certain pose. I want a bike from early. Come see the artist them on them big bike. Because I was into the artist and the music, I'm into them lifestyle. If a man say, Yo, I go down on a show that was a Barrington Levy. You might ask him, say, I want Barrington Levy that we are. I want Liko John when you You understand me, I say? Mm. So, yes, it does influence. And if the music can calm down, and not only Jamaica, like, like the question you said, the world, the world can probably get a little mellow, all right? Or the world tense. Mm-hmm. The world tense and we see it. So we need, but sing a tune and reggae need more warriors. People can look it up. Owen Nibs, reggae need more warriors. When me I cry, come here and tell us, say, from Bob Marley to Sugar Miner to Lucky Dube to D. Brown and to Barry Brown and Sugar Miner to the real Rubber Dog King. <laughs> what I say? Mm. The man used to sing the music, brother. Right? I'm going to give you a story, sing. Yeah, man. And show you powerful music is. And time, you know, up on my ends, in the night, I play some music for my little speaker scene. I'm around at the back of the house, I all the vibes. 
I'm look for two men come around there. I know them still, but they come from a different area, you know? Late, you know? And they yell me up and I feel a look away and easy, but my sister them come and them beg me a spliff. And them did they listen to music, but I know so them a stepper, you know what I say? Around from the back there and the whole reason, till me one of the men say, bro, it's clean. You know, say too late now to embrace and embrace. So I say, what happened? You know, say it's a bar, they might go for rap bridging. But the way the music when I play, them forget about so they might go rap bar. So somebody life probably saved because of the music when me did I play on my cassette. Oh, you understand? Mm-hmm. So that's how me, me see first and how powerful the music is. So. Yeah, man, so we are begging you them for balancing, man. Give us some nice lyrics, man. Give us some f- lyrics make me laugh and love in there and them, man. I did that. Put out the music. You know, Jamaica did fun, man. When you go to stage show, man, I pay you laugh, you laugh. Because you have certain artists who come up and make you laugh. Mm-hmm. Tiger and them, man, you jump on the stage from left to right. <laughs> you know me I say? Yeah, man, it was pinchers come up, well, trash out. When you go home, we don't stop talking till daylight, but the archive of individual artists just come out at night. Admiral Bailey when them on the touch stage. General Trees. You know what I say? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He come out and the man come up and say, how do them, how do them? He's mash up. <laughs> but the music was so nice. Not to say them tiny little thing never go on, you know. But the music was something that we look forward to. As we come from school, we turn on the radio. If we never have a kind of time, we don't know sound for ourselves. But the radio, Barry G, a blast, some real music. So, my artist, balance it. I'm not putting it down. I'm not saying nothing negative. Balance it. Do some tune. Even if it's not popular. When a man attack you and say, Yo, how can I music them? You know, you can say, Yo, go type in this online and see, man, say, What? Well, the man do a whole album with but then you can't say them now play it. You can't blame them now. But you have to do them music as part of your reggae duty. As part of your reggae duty because that's what Bob Marley and them, them it take Bob Marley probably a lifetime for Jamaica recognize him. And he never stopped the theme music. Mm-hmm. But the world out there, because and only Jamaica oppressing be. If you want to see oppression, go out in the world and see how much thousand people are escaped from one country coming to the next country. The amount of refugees, me see a Europe all come out a trailer. One trailer load mm-hmm. a refugee for them life turn upside down. So when you think say a one place a struggle at the whole world. And a lot of people did look forward to the reggae. A lot of people press play say boy I have a tough day today life hard and when the music hit him he feel no pain so me answer my brother yes I that's the fire yeah man I live you know yes my king yes far I and yeah we give thanks we are, we are going to see it on a, on a positive note there you know yeah I feel you say we see it on a positive note, my lord, and you know it's been it's been yeah, a, a joy, you know, listening to the man the man's story still, where the man I come from, thirty two years the man did this song and you know what I mean, <laughs> out of the blue, you know, yeah, changed yeah, the man. man life. So, you know, we give thanks, eh, you know, for testimonies like those, you know what I mean, and I hope that you know ones who are listening. You know what I mean? Um, can take something from this and apply to their life. You know what I mean? So, my yes. brother, me give thanks to the man taking the time, man. Um, words of encouragement to the world at large and, you know, where people can find the eye and how them can contact you for necessary, you know, whether shows or recording or dub plate and everything there. Yeah, man. Well, word of encouragement is to love thy neighbors thyself, you know? Yes, sir. And anything you want for yourself, you can want it for your brother or sister, stranger, or neighbor or whatever. And it might sound a way, 
and it sounds simple and everybody come and say the same thing, but nobody not do it. But I have to echo it. Because the great Bob Marley said, one love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. That we have to do right now because the world is in turmoil, Virgin. A lot of the prophecies are fulfilling. It's scary. I don't know if nobody can see it. For we youth, then we have come up. Look on it and you say, with them, all my little sons, sometimes I look on them and I say, boy, why are going to the Sally Because there's so much hatred, brother. There's so much fight against so much killing and violence. So the encouragement is just looking on yourself, man, and go back to spirituality and go back to loving. If you love yourself and you love the Almighty, you will love an next man, you know, and love an next sister. True. I just want to say, you can find I and I on all platforms socially to connect with I. Owen Nibs, O-W-E-N-K-N-I-B-B-S. I'm everywhere, Twitter, Facebook, my music page, the new thing where the youth are running, you know, TikTok. Because mm -hmm. we have got every corner for all them, you know, for make them see it and learn. Because I see of one, I see of many, you know what I mean? True. And put up on the Instagram, Owen Nibs, same way. And I know music, I have 50 singles out there on all digital platforms, roads and culture. See, we have the physical LP, it's called Down Here. Um, six vocal and four rhythm sections seen and you can purchase that if you are in Europe you can link every black catalog is a very famous um, record dealer in Paris I'm responsible for this album in Europe I myself Owen Nibs you can link me at, at the office Era code 347 290 4643 that's a WhatsApp number for dub plate production, anything, right? That's a shows anything. And Jamaica, it's been a while, I'm not coming to Jamaica still. But we're there and see. Big up all of my brothers and sisters down there. Big up Shine. Big up Dana, my late great friend Dana Van from down at Havana. Big up Miss Reed, same way. Seeing big up all the people I'm in a Sass Spring. All Jamaicans. You know what I'm saying? I love where I deal with, man. Seeing. I'm a virgin, give thanks for the opportunity. I want to acknowledge, I don't really call the name of my team because I only probably bridge them up. I'm going to try a thing right now to acknowledge them, to thank them for the work. I didn't do this by myself, you know. So I have to acknowledge them. I make them know that I appreciate love, all the effort, Diamond Mine, you know, Jamaica, the man attorney, renamed himself Kwaku, a lot of the combination named upon. See, big up Eric Black catalog in Europe. Big up all of my Europe um, people and we are support the thing, you know what I mean, say? And big up all of my bridging and sister in them, seeing big up all of my brothers and sister. Love the island, man. Peace to the world. I'm a blood brother. Give thanks for the opportunity that we can talk to the people and make them know, say, Owen Nibs from 1987, original juggler. We're here to do it and look out, seeing? One love. Peace to the world, you know? Yes, King. Yeah, man. Manners and respect. And, yeah, man. Give thanks for taking the time. And, you know, I just pray that the most I, father and mother, said we we continue to bless the eye and guide and protect the man. And, you know, keep inspiring the man for, you know, put out good, positive, and hopeful content. You know? So, give thanks, my general. Manners and respect. And peace and love, you know? Blessings. Yes, I, Rastafari. Yes, honorable family, there we have it. Yeah, man, Owen, Nibs, Zane, and yeah, me want the item go out there and, you know, go on him Instagram and follow him on him Instagram. Zane, we are going to drop them links there um, in the description. Zane, you can check those links, um, links to, you know, his um, Instagram or social platforms and you know, songs on YouTube or Spotify. See? So, reason with we, you know, the comment section, let me know your views, your thoughts, and what's been said here. But before we move, take a listen to this. Introducing to you now a hot reggae song, No Lies, by artist Mosiah, available on all digital download platform, Apple Music, Spotify, available now, No Lies. 
by Mozaya Stream Now. Smash that button. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset.